Romans 3, 22, the last portion of the phrase, and Romans 3, 23, the last portion of the phrase says, there, I'm going to write it in English so we can all read it together, there is no difference. I think I'm writing English, there is no difference, and it should continue as one sentence, for all have done good, for all are perfect. <laughs> Just checking, some of you might have already departed me. For all have love, for all have sinned. Who, me? No. And, there's an and in there, a conjunction, and come short, I'm just writing it as it appears in the King James, come short of the glory of God. That's my point of departure. Now, I picked a little something to read to you before I get started from Pinkham, his book called The Lamb of God. Listen to what he says. Sin is everywhere. It's in the heart, it's on the tongue, it's in the actions. It's not only in the bar room and the gambling den. Sin is behind the counter, it's in front of the counter. Sin is in the palace, in the hovel, in the city, in the country. Sin is in the state, it's in the church. Sin is in the legislator, the judge, the jury, the clerk, and the constable. Sin in confessional, sin in cloister, clergyman, layman, sin in the little child, and the man with gray hairs. A race marked with sin, for there is not a just man upon the earth that doeth good and sinneth not. A race marked with sin. Thus saith the Lord, whose word standeth forever. The conscience of a man who bears witness also persons are found who, in resisting the appeals of God's messenger, say, I do not know that I am a sinner. They acknowledge sin in all others, though professedly blind to its existence in themselves. I could go on and read, but I'm going to stop. I may come back to this. Some have degrees of sin, like, I'm not as bad as this person. I didn't rob a bank. Therefore, I'm not as bad as that person. Or, well, I don't, I don't do that. Hey, go read the Bible, the Pharisee and the publican. I thank my God I'm not like so-and-so. Guess what? You just did worse. You just did worse in the act of saying you're not like that person's spiritual pride and the sin of saying I'm not like him when in fact the fact of the matter is you're all, we all are born in Adam and all have sinned. It doesn't say, it says there's no difference. You know what that means? It means black, it means white, it means yellow, it means red, it means God sees no color. He doesn't see any indication of more or less. There is no difference. Now, I'm going to say this because maybe there are some of you they're like me, where people have tried to just beat you over the head and say, well, you know, this and that and the other thing. Jesus, when he hung on the cross, and I'm going to personalize it for me, you personalize it for you, he hung on the cross for me. That means the shame, the guilt, the reproach, it hung on the cross with him, and I, by carrying it around, I basically say, I'm going to just crucify Christ anew every day. That's my act. I've got this a bag on my back stuffed with my sin. Let me carry it around and show everybody what it looks like so you can all get a good look at what I'm carrying around. And then if that's not enough, let me hand over what I'm carrying so you can beat me over the head with it. That's not the Christianity that I want because that's not the Christianity that I came to know or that I know or that's in the Bible or that's been promised to me and to you. 